I am quite ruined, so. Okay, stand behind me awkwardly. Stay oh, and now you suddenly teleported. Us, I'm glad you didn't let him humiliate you. Oh, really? You seem rather concerned at first. You'd put your pride ahead of your family. Oh, what come on. That we've abandoned him. We can't afford to show weakness, Mother. It would have been a minor sacrifice. I, pro I mean, pr probably. <laughs> Ultimately, as long as our plans went through to eventually kill him, but if it didn't, then it would fucking suck. So, it really depends. My lord. I guess it doesn't really matter much either way, but it does kind of make me look like a bitch. I have to be careful about that. This fighting is over. It's not even close. What if I just kill him? Then it's over. Probably not. Oh boy. Fuck me. Man, this one feels especially long. Oh. We're gonna have good old talks with Jon Snow here. You need those men to have your well, he fought. He... Why don't you tell it to him? He's the one who fucking started fighting. It was Finn's fault. I think he might be dangerous. He started it. We need dangerous men for what's coming. Yeah, but dangerous to them, not to us. I'm not that really give a shit about us. Crossfinger oh. told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. Why? He's kind of an idiot. He won't stop bothering me. You were a squire. He thinks you have potential. Oh, really? He said... He fought for the North, with the Foresters. Yeah. Right there, at the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Wow, that many? Holy Why shit. Why didn't fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and the next... See, that's actually really weird. Wasn't there like about 18,000 Stark men left at that point, or roughly? At most, according to this. Let him die fighting. If your brother would have won the North's freedom, he deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did. But but according to this, at, be right. at best it was. At best it was three thousand. So how are they totally gone, the Starks? That's what I don't understand. If it, I'm just reacting off this dialogue anyway. But chances are. I'd be dead too. Yeah, Whatever probably. I once thought, my place is here. Although, with the night's watch. Perhaps being dead wouldn't be so bad for you. Wink, wink. Wow, look at all those torches of delight. Really? <laughs> you don't say. No one's so anyway. actually said that yet, any of that. Trust me, I know. I don't care if they hate me. Let them think what they like. Ignoring them won't be as easy as you think. Most of the men are criminals, forced to take the black. You were a squire yep. for a noble house. As everyone knows, you can't fucking... Times I can count. No one wants to commit to this bullshit. Brothers you trust. <sighs> yeah, but do you trust them? Sounds like you don't. Oh, well. You know, when I first watched this, I was like... I was like, oh man, is this gonna be like... Is he just gonna like push me off or something? Because I didn't know who the fuck this guy was really. I was like, shit, is he just gonna push me off? <laughs> That's gonna be the end of Carrot. <laughs> he just gets killed I off. Why? 
Why risk your life out there? Winter is coming. I want to fight. You'll have your chance. Don't worry. Oh, I should have told him. I'm, I'm actually curious if I just tell him. I, I don't even care. I'll just Nobody tell him about the North Grove. Be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand Wardens. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. Yeah, that's the other thing. It's like, there's like a hundred thousand of them, but there's only maybe a couple hundred or something. I'm not like them. I thought that once. I thought I was better than them. But the vows make every man an equal. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Like, there's like 100,000 of them, but... Better get by a fire. Spoilers, in the battle where... In the battle where they fucking invade, it's like maybe a couple hundred of them, and then they die, and they manage to find, fend them off. Uh, a couple hundred of them at best, I think. At least that's what it looked like. And then... then and then there's only, like... It seems like there's only a few more, and then they some of them get slaughtered by the fucking... Uh, fuckers. Um, the Stannis' people, and then... Uh, the Baratheons, and then, um, one half of the Baratheons, and then, um, it's like, that's, it's like, that, that's it, and they give up, it's like, where, where's, like, the other, like, fucking 99.68 thousand or 7,000 or whatever the fuck, like, what? That didn't make any sense to me, and now at this point in the show, it's like, he only has, like, a handful of them left. I don't understand that. It's like, that does not make sense with the show. It's figures of men, of, of, of army estimates and shit. I don't know. Whatever, though. Hmm. Maybe we should go to that guy. Let's go here instead. Oh, shit. Where'd you come from? At this time of night. I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Yeah, that's why I was heading back to my room, you like I just said. You're a faggot? It means you serve the Lannisters. Means you're a little so bitch to them? You best get yourself back to your chambers. God, he sounds like the other faggot. What's his name? Take it up with the, commander. Is there no the one Arya... Ch Did you not hear me? The one that Arya... Uh, well, uh, you know. The lady is with me. <sighs> Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. The one that Arya kills, I'll just I say it. Like, why not say it? You, I've already spoiled. It's like... <laughs> uh, why are you here? Did you read the note? Thank you, Jamie. I, uh... Alright. That was you. Very glad you could make it. All right, let's just go over here. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. What do you know about Lord Tyrion? Oh, I could tell you a great deal about the Imp. Why do you call him that? If you're an ally. Hmm. Oh, looks off to the side. A bit suspicious. I am sorry about this, Mira. What is it? You've made enemies of the wrong people. Oh, look at that. A handmaiden should know her place. What people? I'll make this quick if that helps. I'll just at least answer the question first. Just answer the question. Just answer the question first. Come on. Okay, wouldn't that scream like that guy would probably hear that scream. He'd know. Uh whoa. Oh. You're supposed to do S. All right. I suppose that's. I suppose that's sort of intuitive. It's kind of counterintuitive. I, I just figured W is usually forward, but it, technically it's. The direction it's going, it makes sense for. for, uh. that. shit. For that. for S, I mean. Scratch his eyes, yeah! Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Oh! Hey, where'd you come from? Freaking swatching me, stalker. <laughs> That's, what <I'm> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna think about right now. Uh, 
No, it's just like that first decision you make. Like, yeah, let's just totally leave him for no reason. Whatever. It said the chest, but I stabbed him in the throat. Wow. He's just like, fuck you, and he doesn't re he, he, re he, he doesn't, like, feel his back or anything, but he's just like, he turns around and just like, fuck you, he can just totally do that, just fine, just turn around and everything. But he can't attack me, he just sits there, stunned, just like, staring angrily, just like, ah, I'll attack you with my face. He, he said I'd angered the wrong people. So, someone sent him? What are you doing here? Whoa, all those yet? cuts. Killed him pretty easily. He's not a very good fighter. He really is not a very good fighter. I mean, uh, how, how I managed to just like ward him off before he, he was finally before he was finally attacked from behind. Like, good luck and be careful. Thanks. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> oh shit. Yeah, now he fucking hears. He reacted pretty fucking late to what occurred. Like, what? How? Uh... I'll just toss it. There's no DNA evidence back then, or fingerprints or anything, like... How would it- how would in any way it could be connected to me? It could not like, what? I guess I had different standards back then, I mean, it was pretty shit standards, honestly. It's like, oh, we saw you here at this time, and there's a knife nearby, so therefore, you did it. Yeah. It's still kind of like that these days, isn't it? I mean, sort of. I don't know. Whatever. Sometimes, <laughs> I think. What's uh. doing here? No idea. Hello, Roderick. Sir Ryland. It's been a while since we've met. Yes. Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Your father wanted to oh, shit. Russia for your little love affair, remember? Aw, oh, come on, don't be a dick that about it. It was a long time ago. May we speak privately? Get out of here. Yeah, that's right. Roderick. You obey me. I came here because... I know how hard these past few days must have been for your family. I know my yeah, it was pretty shit. Probably mean nothing to you. Thank you, Gwyn. I'm so sorry, Roderick. Your brother mm. didn't deserve this. Neither of them did. Listen, I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage, but I think he deserves some news of you. I know it's little consolation, right. but if I can offer you this. So you have news of Ryan? Yes, he's well. Not happy, but just know your brother is safe at High Point. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. He asked me if his father died because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor like my father says. Oh wow, that's rather I don't fast. Want to upset you, but... I thought you should know. Ryan is strong-willed, like father was. He will not bend. I'm sure you're right. We don't know that, but... He feels... You know, let's keep high hopes. Alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen Oh, that's not true. Him. And with each passing day, those words start to sound like truth. I will get him back. He'll be with his family again. You tell him that. Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. Is it really a war? There's no fighting actually happening. For 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 a war, it's rather Hello, Gwen. Non-violent. <laughs> I hope I can. It's more like a cold war, I guess, sort of. Except we're actually meeting Roger, face to face. You should speak to mother. It's like not even a cold. It's like a fucking diplomatic war, almost. Mother, who joined the others? He should be here. He should be with his family, but instead they send her. She came by her I own will. On her own. She wanted us to know Ryan is okay. It's happening all over again. I can see it. 
See what? Like You're not a fucking psychic. To the costs dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our land destroyed. Everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch well, the shit. fate before this family. You know, uh, all good things come to an end. They will take everything from us. I won't let that happen to us. You know, in order to fall, you must rise. Must be ready to we us. rose a long time ago. Now we must fall. Must be like <laughs> <laughs> oh no. If you have to murder every last white hill down to the babes in their beds. Whoa. No matter what, Dang. you must do it. Promise me. You'll go mad thinking like that. I have seen what men must do to win a war. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. Even though they're nowhere near us. He is strong. But they still stand with they're still here in spirit. I suppose we have to. <sighs> uh, whatever that means. Words, well, I know what it means, but <sighs> Okay, bye Gwen. You don't care if stay around. Fuck you. <laughs> uh. Alright. I think he was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. Including Show dead. Me what it is to be alone. Um He was always kind. I never knew a man. Except when he would take it's people's fingers fault. off for I am sorry. You know, except that. For stealing, or whatever. That my, that wasn't so kind, but hey. <laughs> my little brother. Looks like even was better than him. Oh, he served. He stood uh. up to Ramsey Snow. He saved our sister's life and paid with his own. I don't think he saved her life. She. I don't think she was gonna die, but. I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Ramsay went in there with the intention of killing him. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester. My husband. My love. Maybe and not. Lord I don't know. My sweet maybe 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 he saw Ethan's actions and then made a quick decision from there, I don't know. But now is time to say goodbye. That actually might be more likely. Cause he, I don't think he, how, how would he know anything about Ethan beforehand? Like he'd, he'd have to see it from being there. And he saw that Ethan rescued Talia and then... But even if you don't do that, I think he, he kills... He kills Talia anyway. Just saying, like, spoilers, I guess, kind of. But you already know, I'm gonna talk about how this game is... There's some, there's some things that just happen anyway. Oh, let's see. Who should I take? Ethan's part. Oh yeah, right. You do both. It's just a matter of who you do first. Whatever. We'll go with first dead and then last dead. Here we go. No 
And epic close, dramatic close, maybe not epic, e dramatic, epic, dramatic, whatever, both, sure. They're kind of synonymous, I mean, kind of. <laughs> uh, next time on Game of Thrones. What is going on? Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Griff Whitehill means to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuckle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it, all the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else we should be worried about? What was that? Oh shit. Tol totally just a bear, though. Uh, let's see. 24% of players... Oh, wow. A lot of people didn't bother with it now. I mean, I think a lot more did back in the day. I think it's because they saw, like, how it's a co not nece It's actually not inconsequential, I guess, but it's like... It doesn't really help to do it. I don't think there's really any benefit to it at the end. I th it changes the dialogue path somewhat, and maybe then... I mean, it kind of makes it easy when you think about it. If you, like, say, like, you're free to choose, and then she's like, yeah, okay, cool. I don't know if it's that easy without it. I don't know. Refuse to kiss Lord Whitehill's ring. Yeah, well, no one wants to be a bitch. Well, I guess 29.8% of people do, but hey, we're not them. I'm not them. Yeah, f let's see, 48.2, 1. Yeah, right, uh, I think a lot of people... A lot of people failed to sit first. I think it used to be like only 30% did it. Or like 20 something. Yeah. Back like when it was new. So. And then stuff for Cotter. Oh yeah, well, I mean, why? I mean, I don't know. Why, why wouldn't you sort of, I guess? But, uh. I mean, uh, Finn's rather a dick. At least for the time being. And killed the tiger. This was a rather like, why would you leave him, right? And it's just like, like right there, like, why not help him? So yeah, there you go. From eyes, from eyes, we've and that's episode two with another credit scene. Um. So I don't really have much to say, or I guess. Um, not that I can think of. I, I think I covered most of my thoughts for this episode in in it. It's a bit annoying. It's a bit annoying how um, how how like the stuff in this game doesn't really uh, coordinate with the show. There's things like like you know Frost Finger and then Marjorie's Handmaidens and. The whole thing about the forces and the White Hills, like, that's not mentioned at all in the series, but I feel like neat little details like that would be nice. Yeah. 
Oh. She talks about Mance? Okay. Anyway, um, just listening to that. That was a bit new to me. Um, but, yeah, and then, you know, it, 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 it'd be nice if, like, in the show you heard just, like, a little, just a little, not necessarily anything big, but just, like, little quips or whatever about, oh, you know, that fucking, and, oh, yeah, oh, you know, that fucking war between Forrester and, um, White Hill. If you just heard some characters just mention that in passing, you know, just little things like that. Or like you saw cameos of Mira and the other bitch, and or you know, or you saw Frostfinger around. I mean, honestly, Frostfinger, he'd have to be like a a decent. Um, he'd have to actually be like a decent. Uh, what is it? He'd actually have to be like a supporting character, or a regular character, not just like a cameo, because his position makes sense for it, at least very briefly. I mean, you know. But this game, I think, started after Season 4 came out. Or after Season 4 finished. So it's a bit... You know, it's it's like... It's kind of hard at that point. Because this takes place just after... Like... S this takes place from Season 3, Episode 9 onward. Because of the Red Wedding. So it's like... It's kind of hard to, you know... Retroactively incorporate that in when... The whole other season was already done, and this is taking place, like, a season before, at least starting out like that, so it's like, yeah, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, that's it for that. But, I mean, it would have been nice if that all went along better. I don't know, but uh, who knows how long this has been in the works, like, I mean, this Telltale game, right? I mean, I don't know. They could have maybe just worked that out in, in the casting or something, maybe it was too much. I mean, they, they got plenty of a budget, right? I mean... HBO should be able to fucking support just a bit more of, just a bit of, bit more of that shit, just a bit more, you know, cameo or whatever, or another casting, or, I mean, or just like little lines, you know, come, like, come on, just at least something, but whatever, uh, next up will be episode three, Dracarys, Daenerys Targaryen, so, um, so as you see, there's a dragon there um, that fits with this line. Just say that, and um, yeah. But that that sound that we heard at the end totally just a bear. So no worries about it. Anyway, that will be it for me uh, for now. But uh, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more. See you soon.